this is my Sangvi and thanks for joining me be the more in this video hello everyone this is my Sangvi from vlamo.com and i'm back with another google cloud compute engine tutorial video in our previous videos we learned about how to create a windows server 2016 vm instance we learned about how to install iis we configured php in our new windows server 2016 vm instance finally we created a dns zone and then we updated name servers for our domain and then we created a website for our domain inside iis the next thing we learned is we installed sql server 2017 express edition in our in our windows server 2016 vm instance we also learned how to install sql operation to manage your sql server database and now we are going to install php driver so we can connect sql server database using php for this i'm going to open my vm uh, my windows vm so this is our windows server 2016 vm and now we need to download php drivers for this i'm going to open internet explorer for downloading php 7.1 sql server driver we need to visit this url this url is available in the description of this video all the download and setup instructions are available on our blog post and blog post url is available in the description of this video or you can click on here visit the blog post in blog post you are able to find this url okay so i'm going to click on download and then i'm going to select this option and if you are looking for php 7.1 sql server driver for linux environment you can download the pdf file okay for this video we are going to select the first option save uh, i want to run this yes we need to select the folder in which we need to explore all this uh, we, uh, we need to select the folder where we need to extract all these files or driver for this i'm going to select documents and then i'm going to click on ok finally i'm going to click on ok okay our files are extracted successfully so this is our document folder and inside this we have lots of option we have dll for 7 version 7 we have dll file for version 7.1 so i'm going to copy dll files for version 7.1 okay before copying let me open php info file so this is our php info file let me refresh it so this is our php info file version is 7.1.5 and inside this our architecture is x64 this is the location for our php.ina file okay so let me arrange my windows so our architecture is 64 and we are using non thread save so that's why we are going to use 7.1 nts x64 and we are going to select this these two files we are going to select i'm going to copy this file now i'm going to open windows explorer i'm going to select this pc c drive and then we are going to select our php installation directory and then we are going to select ext folder okay here i am going to paste my two files and let me okay now our files are copied the next thing we need to edit php.ina file so i need to open our php installation folder inside this we have php.ini file so this is our php.ini file i'm going to open this in notepad as a break as a best practice always create a copy for your php.ini file without modifying before modifying so i'm going to search for extension equal to okay so this is all our extensions And here in the bottom I'm going to copy these two lines and I'm going to paste it here the first thing I want to uncomment these two and now we are going to add DLL files for our SQL server okay 
So I'm going to open this. I want to copy this first file name. And right now, if you are going to perform our control F operation, and if you are going to search for uh, SQL SRV, you are not able to find anything. So I'm going to paste it here first. And then I need to copy the name for second file. I'm going to copy and then I need to paste it just here. Our file is modified successfully. So I'm going to close this php.ini file. And then we are going to open IIS manager. Inside IIS manager, server and then i'm to click on the start is started successfully let me open our php info file maximize this and let me try to refresh it one more time and then i'm to yes finally sql server 12 match forms okay so now we are ready to now we are going to modify our this php info file so we can connect on sql server for this i'm going to open notepad right click run as administrator click on yes and then i'm going to open this pc c drive inet pub ww root uh, i'm going to select all files and then we are going to edit index.php i'm going to remove php info file now i'm going to copy code from my blog post so our index.php file is modified let me test the connection our connection is tested successfully. In our next video, we are going to learn about how to access our SQL Server database from other server. Now, I want to access this SQL Server database from my local machine. So for this, I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio, Microsoft, Microsoft SQL Server 2012. I'm going to select SQL Server Management Studio. So this is my IP address. I want a SQL Server Authentication Mod. I'm going to enter my SQL Server username and password. So our connection is filled. Now we are going to, in our next video, we are going to learn about how to access SQL Server database hosted on our VM from other servers or our local machine some important URLs